Also joining us from Charlottesville is Police Chief Tim Longo. Chief Longo, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm well, thank you. We just heard you say in our report that there were obvious physical injuries to Miss Love's body that led uh, investigators to believe this was a homicide and not just a deadly accident. Like what, Chief? What sort of injuries? Well, you can imagine at this point in the investigation, we're, we're staying pretty tight-lipped with respect to the facts that we discovered when we arrived. Suffice it to say that the injuries were apparent and very obvious to the police officers that first arrived on the scene, such that they locked the scene down and brought investigators in. We're hearing from sources within the university that Miss Love was strangled. Can you confirm or deny that this morning? I, I can do neither. I can tell you that or it, we're, we're hopeful that the autopsy will take place sometime this morning. We'll have investigators there when the autopsies were formed, and hopefully when that's complete, we'll have a better idea as to the extent of her injuries and both the manner and cause of her death. What led you to zero in on George Hoogley as a suspect? Well, you know, once again, keep in mind we're at the very early stages of this investigation, but we did very early on focus in on Mr. Hoogley, and, and uh, after we uh, had a chance to speak with him and during the course of that discussion, probable cause, in fact, did develop for us to seek a charging document for his arrest. But exactly what those facts were, we're not dis disclosing at this time. How did he react when police showed up to arrest him? My understanding that Mr. Hoogley throughout the process was cooperative with investigators. Uh, I had uh, several opportunities during the course of this morning, uh, that morning, to observe him. Uh, he appeared uh, obviously upset, uh, but, but cooperative. Uh, that, that's probably the best way I can describe him at this point. So far, what have you learned about the nature of their relationship? At some point, there was a, a, a relationship between the two. Uh, what that relationship was and the status of that relationship uh, the day before yesterday is, is really what we don't know. We're still in the process of talking to, to uh, fellow lacrosse team players, friends, those that could give us a better idea from an historical perspective of what the relationship was between the two and, and what led up to the tragedy that occurred uh, sometime early yesterday morning. Everyone who knows these two says this is so unlikely. Any idea as to a possible motive? I know it would be preliminary. No, we really don't. And another thing that, to keep in mind, there's so many people we want to interview and we want to be really careful that what information we get from those potential witnesses are, is information they have actual knowledge of and not something they may have heard me say or they may have read in the newspaper. But we're hopeful that once we've interviewed the large number of people that need to be interviewed, that we'll have a better idea of what uh, really was taking place between these two individuals. But right now, George Hoogley is the only suspect. You believe you have your man? I believe he's the only suspect at this time. Again, I don't want to be premature in, uh, in, in saying that conclusively because there are still a number of people that we want to talk to and a number of facts and circumstances we want to look into further. Chief Tim Longo, thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you for having me. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.